Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Weston molded running boards here on a 2018 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. So there's really two main types of step options. We have Nerf bars, which are those cylinder bars that actually run along the bottom here, and then we have running boards. So these are actually running boards, and the biggest difference between those is running boards typically have a little bit of a wider stepping surface, and they're also a little bit closer to the cab, so they give you a more seamless look. So our actual boards are going to be six inches wide and the stepping surface is four and a half inches. That's this little pattern here. So if you're looking for the widest possible surface, the, if you have large feet, this is definitely going to be the option for you. Nerf bars are typically much more skinny, as we said. These here with the larger stepping surface are really going to allow you to get your full foot on there, providing you the best traction possible. We also have all these little grooves here. And what this does is if you do get mud on your boots or snow, it's gonna help channel those so you're not sliding around. It's gonna give you much more grip. And as you can see, I've got a pretty heavy duty work boot on here and I can fit almost half of it on there on the step, allowing us to easily get in and out of the truck. Now, although it may look this way, the boards are not actually all plastic. There is metal underneath for support, but the top, however, is that little ABS plastic that we see all over our vehicles, commonly used in door handles and side mirrors. So this holds up really well to the weather, to the elements. You don't have to worry about this outside uh, portion rusting and taking away from the look of your truck. So it definitely looks pretty good and it is going to hold up. So just don't let it steer you away that it is plastic. So we talked a little bit about the step construction. Now the brackets, which will hold the step to the body of the vehicle there, those are all made out of steel. So you shouldn't have any concerns with durability there. And they have a powder coated finish. So you shouldn't have to worry about rust. All the hardware is zinc coated as well. Because again, the name of the game here is just making sure to keep our steps looking nice and near for years to come. The elements that Weston has added within this running board set are gonna allow for that. Now, in regards to installation, this kit is very easy and straightforward. Uh, it only took us a couple of hours here, so I'm sure you guys can do the same thing in a few hours as well, depending on your experience level. This is definitely something a do-it-yourselfer can do at home in their driveway. Again, there's no modifications to the vehicle required whatsoever, and thankfully, best of all, we're going to walk you through the entire process step by step now. The start of our installation today is going to be underneath the truck over on the driver's side and the first thing we're going to be doing is removing some rubber grommets from the rocker there so you're going to need a flathead screwdriver for this. Now on the rocker panel you're going to see there's several of these little rubber plugs or these grommets. We actually only need to remove two on each side and I went ahead and marked them out for you. Go ahead and get those out now and if you're not sure which ones to do because there's just so many of them, the ones we're looking for have the small hole directly beside them. So this is the rearmost one. This is the middle one, and again, there's that small hole. Go ahead and pull those out. And then for the front one, we actually don't have a grommet because there is a weld nut in the frame, which I had pointed out for you here. So now's a good time to actually clean this out. So if you have some spray lubricant, you can spray in there with a wire brush, come back and get all that dirt and gunk out of there. It's gonna help you in the later steps. Next, we're going to take these weld nut clips here that come in your kit. We're going to be installing them in each of the two holes at the rear that we removed the grommets from. So the rear one and then the center one. Now, if you're having some trouble pushing those in, you can actually take a flathead screwdriver and use them to maneuver them the rest of the way. And you're basically just going to be lining up the weld nut with that small circular hole beside our large one. So we've got the rear one done. We're gonna go ahead and do that same process there for the middle one as well. Now we're gonna grab our bracket for the driver's side rear, which is the one stamped with a C. And this adjustment hole here is gonna be lined up with that uh, in nut insert that we just installed. Now the hardware we're gonna need for this is gonna be this hex bolt, a split lock washer, and then a flat washer. I'm gonna go ahead and just mock this up now and loosely start threading this bolt into position. We won't be tightening it down just yet. Just gonna thread it in a few rotations to hold it in place. Now we're gonna be securing the bottom half of the bracket to the pinch weld there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab another hex bolt here with a flat washer, place that over there, then line everything up and push it through there like so. And then on top, we're gonna come back with another flat washer, a split lock washer, and then a hex nut. And we're again, just gonna loosely tighten this down, just snug it up with our hand. We're not using any sort of tools yet. So now that we have the driver rear installed, we're gonna do this exact same thing for the driver middle one, except the bracket that we're gonna be using is stamped B. 
So now we're at the driver front, and this one's pretty much the same as the ones we just did. We're going to be using the bracket stamped B. The only difference is there's actually a weld nut in the pinch weld here, so we don't have to worry about those clips. So we're just going to repeat the same process we've showed you so far to get this one attached. So now we're going to take one of our running boards here for the driver's side, and we're going to be taking six of our square headed bolts. So what we're going to do is, there's going to be some channels on the bottom of your running board. There's one here, and there's one here. That middle one is for a light strip, so that doesn't apply to us, but basically we're just going to roughly line up two bolts for each of our three brackets here. So these I'm going to slide all the way down to the middle here. And they don't need to be perfect, we're definitely going to do some more adjusting, but let's just go ahead and get all of our square headed bolts lined up now. Next we're going to take our running board and go ahead and set it into position. So now we've got our running board in place, I'm going to go ahead and adjust it. So whatever we do, we need to do the same on both sides. I'm going to line up the bottom here where the door meets the fender with the outside edge of our running board there. And it really doesn't matter, again, so long as it's the same on both sides. Now we're going to be securing our boards to the bracket. So we're going to take a flat washer, place it over there, and then we're going to take a nylock nut. So the nylock nut is a little bit different than the ones we've been using thus far. So just make sure you pay attention to that. And we're just going to loosely thread these on to each of our six bolts. Next we're going to come back with a 13 millimeter socket and we're going to snug up all the nuts that attach our boards to the brackets. Next we'll come back with our torque wrench and torque each of these down to the specifications in your instructions. Next we're going to be securing our brackets to the pinch weld. So we're going to take that same 13 millimeter socket from earlier. Tighten this bolt at the top and then the one at the bottom. And then we'll come back and torque these as well to the amount specified in your instructions. It's a little bit higher than the ones we just showed you. And now we're just going to repeat the same process for our other fasteners on this side. So we've just finished up the driver's side here. I'm sure you can imagine what we're going to be doing on the passenger side. The only difference being we need to pay attention to the letters on our brackets. So now we've got the passenger side done and that's going to do it today for our look and installation of the Weston Molden running boards here on a 2018 Chevrolet Silverado 1500.